And away we go. Transformations. I guess maybe it'd be better best to start with a look at these here rules. Okay. And you'll hear me say many times. Okay. What are the big three? The translation, the slide. What makes the difference inside or outside? Where is that? Let's see. Inside or outside? Outside is up and down. Plus moves up, minus moves down. And where's this second one? If I circle f of x, I got to circle the parentheses that's out there. And now you see what? Plus or minus c is inside. Inside means... Side to side, that's my phrase. Inside is side to side. Except star this one, right? Plus actually moves it back. Anytime the rest of your life. If it's coming out of parentheses, always opposite. Okay. You see X minus two, it really moved positive two. Okay. Outside, up and down, inside, side to side. Okay. About rule two. Rule two, rule two. The flip, I call it, reflection is what geometry calls it. It's all about, is it inside or outside? Okay, I put my box around the function. Where's the negative sign, inside or outside? Outside. Outside is still up and down. Okay, and when I put my box around f of x this time, Try as I might, that negative is inside. Inside is still side to side. Okay? Except this time you're flipping it side to side. Two rules, those are the big two. But this one, the multiplier, what did, what did I say? You multiply me by two, I'm twice as tall. <laughs> Remember that because you're stretching it taller. Okay. And if you multiply me by a fraction, I am even shorter. Okay. And I guess depending on what shape it was to start with, you're going to have to describe it as, you know, if it was a parabola, it just got wider. Okay. If it was this guy, can't say wider, but it would. what would happen to it? Give me a word to describe that. What just happened to it? Um, Crushed, lower, what, whatever word you want to call it. All right, I'll take it. All right. Good enough. Those are your three big rules. Well, let's go to your homework. All right. And you tell me, we, we didn't do any of these, did we? Or did we do, we did a couple together, didn't we? And that's good. All right. How about I do this once for all? Be right with you. Uh, one in particular you want. Yeah. Number two C. This thing here, right? So again, don't feel like you can't put the box around it. It helps you to see inside, outside. What did I tell you? Look at my back. All right, guys. Adding or subtracting, that's shifting. So where is that? In or out? Outside moves it where? Five. Up. Yeah. And where's this guy? also outside and the negative does what flips it down so that was the written answer for c but let's talk about actually sketching this okay what did the original 
look like if you have my little half sheet of notes on the other side, these are all the graphs you need to know. Okay. So who is square root of X? I just drew it on that other thing, the half of half of parabola on its side. Okay. Now what's our rule? We only got one rule. Always what first? Try. No, fl uh, flip. Okay. So what do I got to do to this guy to flip it down? Which way is it going now? In which quadrant is it going to be? Okay, so it just flipped down to here. Okay, which means this guy, this guy, this guy. His finger doesn't work today. Reminder of my sixth period last year. They didn't work either. Okay, now I got to go where to finish this for my full credit. Five up. Really hoping that would work. Okay, so here's what your graph will look like on my quiz next class for full credit. Bang. All you label is the five, not the one, two, three, four, or I'm taking off point. You're hearing me this time, right? Okay. okay. Good enough. How about um, you got a lot of practice with your domain range, which was on last quiz. What is domain of this guy? Where does it start to touch blue graph? Zero, zero to forever. Well, how do I write that? Let's see. Zero to forever. Infinity always gets parens. And how about it touched at zero? So that gets bracket. Bracket when it equals, right? And how about the range? It is touching down here, even though it doesn't look like it, because the arrow keeps going. So when did it stop touching? Five. So we're going to say from negative infinity up to five, like that. Okay? So that ain't going away. I know we already did a worksheet on it. You already had a quiz on it. But hopefully this was good practice for you. Okay. <laughs> All right, rest of the worksheet on the front, pick one or more. Yes. Can we do D for number two? Sure. Okay. As long as we're here, right? I'll go a little quicker, though. Hey, D. I like this one. It's still the square root graph. But what three things happen to it in green? The outside, so it shifted one which way? Down. One down. The nine plus nine is inside. Inside means side to side, but it's plus. So where's it going? Nine to the, the backwards, the negative, the left. You were all correct. And what do we have here? First time. A multiplier multiplying by a big number. What did we say happens there? It makes it skinnier, taller, uh, narrower if it's like a, a shape with two sides. But yeah, you write me any word that describes what just happened to that. Okay. Good. All right. Anything, let's do at least one from the rest of this side. And do you have a fave? One pick one. New arrival. What's your favorite number? Seven. Seven. Lucky seven. All right. We could do that. Um, or I was going to pick a tougher one, but we did 11 together already. So, sure, we'll do seven. Uh, no, never. No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Really 
seven weeks. Sorry, guys. Name that shape again. Oh, it's our friend, the square root graph. And there's only, after that one we just did, this is kind of kind of easy, isn't it? Where's the minus six? In or out? Yeah. Out means move where? Go down, down, down six. So our original, which I don't want you to draw on the quiz, the original, I just want the final answer. So go down six, be a good labeler, done. Okay. Domain range, I think six. Okay. Good and easy. Nobody asked, but Niner. A box around X squared. The four is outside, so where'd that go? Four. Up. And the negative is outside, so that flips it down. So uh, I think we said first rule is our only rule is flip first. All right, so what's an X squared graph look like? A U. Parabola, it's called. And I know we're in unit one right now. Unit two, all parabolas. So you're going to get your good dose of those. So if it's a U, step one says to make it a upside down U and then slide it up four. So here's what full credit looks like for that picture. I think, right? Yeah. All right, and uh, I'll say it again so that I'm on tape here. Okay, I don't want you labeling any numbers ever except points of movement. Okay, so if you label one, two, three, four, five, six, and your graph isn't exactly on four, now you're making me guess, was it three, was it four? It's kind of in the middle, you lose. Okay, if all you put was a four, I believe you. Okay, so my, I'm very light grader with the graphs if you play that game with it. Okay, good enough. To the other side, go flip a room. Did you have one you wanted to see here? Did you enjoy skipping questions 12 through 26? <laughs> Take one. 34. Okie doke. So it is, uh, what did we say you have to start with every time? Y equals. Start there. Okay. And then it's a parabola again. So that's Y equals what? X squared. Okay. So I'm using X squared. And then you got to think to yourself, it started life right there. And now what two things happened to it? It slid backwards. Oh, man. One, two, three, four backwards and three down. So backwards is inside, right? Side to side. So I got to go what? Plus, because it moved backwards and down, what was it, three? Yeah. Full credit right there, okay? No, good enough. And I didn't mention it because I didn't see it, but uh, make sure you put arrows on all these things. Okay, because what does that mean? You know this, it goes on forever. Okay, so if you just drew one of these, Okay, you have truncated it or restricted the domain and range, which isn't wrong, but it's wrong this time. There was no restriction. Okay, one point off. Forget the arrows. Yeah. And guess we do domain and range since we're here. All right, what do you know about parabolas facing up and down? The domain is always what. <laughs> starts at the beginning never stops touching so you could put what negative infinity positive infinity but what did you call that sure 
all all real numbers, right? Okay. So um, I'll accept that. How about the range though? It didn't start touching until it got to negative three and then it touched forever. So negative three to forever. Yeah. All right. And at the bottom, maybe let's do one of those. Hmm. How about 44? That one looks the toughest. <laughs> okay. All right. So they kind of hid this here, but you got to start with that guy. Okay. And now, goodness. Wider is multiplier, so all I got to do is put y equals from well, his point two thirds square root, and now two things happen. Inverted, what's that even mean? Vocab. That's a flip. Okay. So flip up to down means I got to put a negative. Outside, make sure I can see it. Thank you. And up six, should that be inside or outside? Outside. Oops. Where'd you go? I'll use my eraser next time to make it a little cleaner. Yeah, it's gone. But here's what I want to see. Might as well model it for you. Much better. Okay. Won't get tougher than that one. Okay. Good enough. Do I hear music with my terrible hearing? Okay. Let's go. All right. New day today. Put that on the back burner on low. And let's talk absolute values. Two worksheets. Let's go. Easy day today, I think. You've done these before? Yes. This is the worksheet that uh, doesn't have to track. Yeah. And uh, yeah, feel free to take some notes, even though I gave you the worksheets. We're going to be working worksheets this unit, but we're mostly a book class doing PDFs of book science, usually. Yeah. All right, you ready? can't believe some of you guys are wearing hoodies. It's supposed to be like 99 today. What the heck? My high school, not air conditioned. And it's in Fairfax County. Don't know how lucky you got it. All right. So write this one down. Here we go. Baby's first uh, absolute value problem. We begin with absolute value equality problem. You got to solve. Bang, I'll put one of these on you. All right. Have you done them before or not? Do you know? Algebra one, geometry, where'd you hit this? I should know. Okay. Let's emphasize the bars. Okay. And could you put a box around X? Sure, um, that's still a good, good idea. You don't have to, but that's how my my kids are taught. All right, you're done when it says X equals something. 
Okay, so your job to get X by itself. So, uh, you know, everybody's on time today. I usually make a joke about what did they say when they came in and they said, I so late. Okay, so your first step is isolate the boss. People call it steps. Smart people are writing them down. That's the I'll see you at the retake. All right. And how do you isolate the bars? You start with whatever's furthest away. What's the furthest thing away from the bars? Five. That's true, but five's already over there. Okay. How do I, what do I get? The next furthest thing is it the two or the minus three? Yeah, minus three because of the minus <laughs> sign pushes it. Well, okay, let's move him out. Add three. Now I know in algebra one, you put your plus three, plus three. Here, I'll model. And then you did this. My son used to draw a line there, so he kept the sides straight. Uh, you are a high flying honors degree. And you know, upper level here. If you want to skip right to here, I'm fine. Okay. So step one accomplished. And what's the next furthest thing away from X? Is it the four or the bars or the two? Okay, the four is sitting in the in the kitchen with X inside the, the house, and the two's out on the porch. Move it. How do you move two? Fine. So we're going to divide both sides by two, okay? And that leaves us with bars equal four, okay? And this is step two, which I'm forgetting to unveil. Oh, no, I lied. We should, now we're going to do step two, okay? Once the bars are isolated, split it. You're going to get two answers for every absolute value problem. Special cases notwithstanding. Here's how I do I write x plus 4, x plus 4, equal, equal. And what do I do with this guy right here? Keep it, change it. Last step, solve for both answers. Good news, it'll be the same step for both sides. If you do it this way, okay. It is that one step to finish with it. What do you do to get rid of the plus four? Minus four. Okay. So you're going to do minus four, minus four, minus four, minus four. And close it up by saying the answers, plural, are what's this one over here? Zero. Nice closed zero. And or whatever you want to say. What's negative four minus four more? Negative eight. Negative eight. Those are your two answers, and that's how you do absolute value problems. Okay. Step one: get the bars by themselves. Split it. Two answers. Make it plus or minus whatever number's there, and then solve. Okay. So let's go to your homework sheet. Yes, that's this one right here. And oh my goodness, so too easy. Too simple. Let's do number one together. Are the bars isolated? Yeah. yeah. So split it. What should I write? 
B minus seven. B minus seven. And what do I do with 14? Uh, yep, use my terms, uh, what do I say? Keep it, change it, and one last step, solve it by doing what? Four times, and seven. And your two, count them, two answers are, say it loud, say it first. 20 wonderful or negative seven. Okay. And for our new arrivals, that's called show and work. I wonder if we do that. All right. Easy enough. Let's pick one your caliber. See, do I like one of these on the front? My phone? Right. What? Just that. Just that. Yeah. Yeah. You guys can be honor students and keep working on uh, all right. We uh, number ten. Let's do number ten together. Slight challenge. Take the uh, lane here. See ya. All right, guys. All right. Eyeball number 10 won't get worse than this. Here's the bars. Yeah. Uh, and here's the end. All right. What's the furthest thing away from the bars? One, don't say ten. Who said ten? Okay. Uh, one. How are you gonna move it? Subtract. Let me tell you, common error alert. All right. You know what it is? What do youngins in algebra one, part one, do first? Here, by the state. Yeah. They want like crazy to do one minus two. They want like crazy to do. You, you got to be past that. Okay, you're an upper level advanced. Okay, so I so late means move everybody to the other side. So how do you move the one? You said subtract. I'll even show you. And then the rewrite. And the next furthest thing away from the end is the negative two. How do you move it to the other side? Divide. All right, go ahead. What's common error here? Okay. They want like crazy to distribute it into the bars. You can't do that. Okay. Why did I draw it in red? Oh, by the way. That's a burning building. Don't you dare send him in here. Okay, get him to the other side of the street and safety. Okay, so you said divide. Let's go. What is negative divided by negative? Positive. And of course, 14 divided by 2, 7. All right, it's split it time. I guess I'll do that here. So what do I write first? 
three n plus seven equals three n plus seven equals same thing twice and then with this step in i do what again use my terminology keep it change it and now the same two steps twice go finish it new fractions maybe Okay, guys, step one. What's the furthest thing away from end here? It's, uh, seven, so subtract seven. And you got three n equals zero and three n equals negative for 14. Last step, get rid of three. How? Divide. Divide. And your two times two answers. What's the first one, of course? Zero divided by anything is zero. Or keep the fraction. Okay. Good enough. Could you call that negative four and two thirds? Sure, I'll, I'll give you full credit, but you're going an extra step when you already have full credit. You mess it up, I gotta grade you accordingly. Don't do that. It's the American way, right? Don't go the extra mile. All right. So good with that worksheet. Flip it over. Okay. I guess I can tell you this. Why didn't we bother graphing that one? What would it look like? What's that? Just dots, two dots. Not, I'm not ever going to ask you, you know, there's negative 15 thirds, so there's zero. Okay, boring. Right. When do you start graphs? Ah. Uh, when we get the inequalities. So here we are, backside. You're gonna handle this like the greater than, less than isn't even there, okay? So I guess I need to give you some steps. Let's go back to here. All right. Part two of notes, graphing absolute values. Okay. I have a sampler here. Mm -hmm. Write this one down. And, and I love my algebra ones that so innocent. They thought that was 71. Okay, no, I don't make one number real big. I mean, okay, then. so there they are, the bars. What's really the only difference here? Okay, you're still going to isolate, split it. You don't even have to write these down. 
same as the other thing. Yeah, everything's the same except what? This guy. Okay. So first thing I would recommend is pretend it ain't there. So this just turned into the front side of the worksheet. Solve it. Go. Make this a you try. <laughs> Best work with me. First step, move which one? Three. Three. Got it. So now I got four bars equal eight. Correct? Okay. Next thing I got to move is the four. How do I do that? Divide. Now I have bars equal two. Okay. And I guess I need to fill the bars with n plus seven. Okay, but step one is done. We got it isolated. Step two say split it. N plus seven. N plus seven. And what do I do with the two? Keep it, change it. All right, but now, here it is, most important five seconds of this lesson. Yeah. It wasn't equal. It was really less than or equal. Guess what you're going to do with that? Keep it changing. Keep it flipping. Okay. And one last step to solve for our two answers. And that step is, of course, subtract seven. So what did we end up with for our final answer is plural? N is less than or equal to negative five. And N is greater than negative nine. Okay. The two answers, but this time graphs. Yes, okay, so let's see. There is one extra step. Here it comes the graph. Why is it negative two minus seven? Uh, you had to keep it changing. You see that two right there? Yes. Keep it positive where right here. And on the other sides, I mean, if we wrote two again, it'd be the same. So keep it changed. All right. So the graph. Okay. What does this look like? I'll tell you. First, you got to know this. All right. Anytime you see an equal sign, it's going to be a filled in dot. 
anytime you don't see an equal sign, open. And what was the original less than or equal? And it's less than, I call it the barbell. And what's greater than, it'd be the horns, two pieces going out. Okay. So here we go. This done. There we go. All right. So, what kind of circle do I need for this first one? Open or closed? Close. So, I got closed at negative five. Be a good labeler. Actually, yours has, has all the numbers on it. And what kind of circle at negative nine are also closed? Now, according to my little uh, cheater's guide here, what should this be, the barbell or the horns? If it was less than or equal. Less than is barbell. And let's make sure it has to be bigger than negative nine. And less than negative five. And now you see it, right? It's this stuff in the middle. Barbell right there. Okay. Yeah. Nice and easy. Hope you got the links. To the worksheet. Number one. Wow. Number one's kind of easy compared to that. Mm -hmm. And I'll run you through it. Are, are the bars isolated? Number one. Done with step one. Split it. What do I write? That's plus five twice. And what do I do with that five over there? What do I do with that five? Yeah, but keep it first, right? Then change it. Okay. And then what do I do with greater than? Is that it? Not yet. Keep it, flip it. Okay. One lousy step to finish this. What do I do to get X by itself? Come on. Minus five. In my two, count them a few answers. X is greater than zero or X is less than negative 10. Eventually, there we go. All right. So there is the answer I'll be looking for on your quiz next class. And let's, let's sketch it. What kind of dots both of them need to be what open right because they don't have equal signs so open dot at zero and open dot at negative 10 okay and cheater's guide to shading it said greater than so what's that supposed to be the barbell or the horns the horns anyone from texas Everything bigger, greater in Texas, greater than Longhorns. That's their mascot. Dire. Exactly. Okay. So we need to be bigger than zero and smaller than negative 10. And there you have it. Absolute value graph. Don't forget the arrow heads.
because it keeps going. Good? Good, good, good. Okay. So now you know how to do those. Isolate, split it, solve. And then you got your rules to uh, give me a quick sketch on that. All right. Now, yes. Why are those going to the right line? Not like inside. Wait, oh, I'm not inside. You're a good man. Okay. But I don't want to do the last thing yet. I want you to practice one of these. So, let's see. Hmm. I think we definitely got to do number nine together. Let's do that. All right, nine or it is. Okay, ready for number nine. Step one, you isolate it. One step should be done. What do I do to ISO this? Add three. Okay. Did that. So now I've got the bars. Greater than 10. All right, everybody good enough to get there. Okay. So now it's split at time, which means... Negative five X plus 10 twice. And what do I do with this 10? Keep it, change it. Oh, good, I've run myself out of room. Now what do I do with the sign? Keep it, change it. Okay. Next, what are the two steps going to be to solve this? What am I going to have to do first to make this say uh, exit? Subtract 10. Okay. I can do that. You can do that. Okay. And that leaves me here. Negative five x greater than zero and negative five x less than negative one. All right, star this problem. What is the last step? No, we're not done. We got to get rid of this. Divide by a negative. Remember what to do when that happens. You got to flip everything. Anytime you multiply or divide by a negative, bless your heart, you got to flip that. And same thing here, flip that. Okay, so write yourself a little note in the margin. That's the only trick I got. Okay. Since you're a high flying on a group, expect one of those somewhere. Quiz test homework is going to happen. All right. And then finally, the sketch circle your answers. All right. You said open circles at zero and four. And what is this going to be? It needs to be smaller than zero. Okay. 
and bigger than four. Okay. So what do we call that? The horns. And what was this thing originally? Greater than what's supposed to be the horns. Okay. All right. Last worksheet. We throw one extra thing into it. A second variable. Let's do the first one on the worksheet together. How about that? Okay, so you're on this side. And let's do number one together. All right, so step one, pretend it's an equal sign. And if you go back to your graphs, I know, describe the absolute value. What letter does that look like? It's a V. <laughs> so this fall worksheet, all of V's. Yeah. And let's use your rules of transformation. Where do I slide it? Minus inside. Inside is side to side. Minus moves it that way. <laughs> it's always opposite coming out of. And which way do I flip it? Yeah. Okay. So I got a V that I got to flip and slide. And what do we always do first? Flip. So it's now an upside down V. Let's slid this way. Okay. And one last step. Two, two last steps. I do them both at the same time. All right. Yeah, I might as well give you the notes for these. So we just did step one. We pretended it was an equal sign and we sketched it. Here's your steps. We just graphed it. Now the important stuff. Yeah, I guess I did split it into two things. All right, it is either going to be dotted or solid. It's going to be dotted if you don't see an equal sign. It's going to be solid if you do. So here's your original prop right here. All right, we already said flip it, slide it, solid or dotted. It has an equal sign, so we keep it solid. Okay. If it didn't, we would have drawn this. Okay. This time, though, it had an equal sign. So we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it solid. Okay. And the last the shading. Okay, how we do this? Greater than okay. 
Greater than, this is easy, greater than shade of button, less than below. So where weigh my shade if it says greater above? So give me some type of uh, shading above. And that's how you do this. Eight on the rooftop there. That's it. So do another one on your homework sheet. Let's go there. Okay. Oh, and these rules psh, worthless unless y was first and positive, right? Because what if, what if, what if, what if this was negative y greater than? something and you divide it by negative one what would i have to do with this guy flip it so these rules good as they are okay that's only if you have y first and it's positive okay what if y was second okay now it's almost like you got to read it backwards y is greater than that one okay all right back to the worksheet one more together and then we roll. All right. All right, number four. Let's have a nice, easy one to end on. Okay, number four. It's a V. Where did it slide, number four? That's outside. So where do I go? Four down. Yeah, inside is opposite. Outside, whatever it says. Okay. And before I make a mistake, solid or dotted? So I need a V that went down four and was dotted. I'll put my dot here. And I'm not really checking any other points. So make it as wide as you want. But I need to see the V with the dotted line. And oh my guess, we're done. Shade above or below. There's less than so shade. That's how we do it. Yes. Good question. But we could do a test point by putting the negative four back in here. Absolute value is regular four, four minus four is zero. And it would be, um, well, I'm sorry, put a zero. We do a better job of explaining this. Name that dot zero, negative four, right? You have the power to do this. Put the zero in for X, put the negative four here. What do you get? Is negative four less than negative four? No. So technically it's okay. And I think that's true every time if there's no equals. Okay. All, right. All right. You guys been super. Let's call it a day.